Knuckles and Terrace. I have all of my teacher tuber friends here with me today. And me. And Darren. <laughs> and also Darren. <laughs> and we thought that we would come together and answer some of the questions that a lot of us get very often from all of you just about being a teacher on YouTube, um, sort of how we do things and why we do somebody them. else jump in. Yeah, just like, why we're, we're just to kind of clarify who, some who of the questions we have right? about the how, especially yes. like yeah. the how and the when logistics. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So that would be the word. We asked a few of you on Instagram, <laughs> Shelly did specifically, <laughs> um, some questions that you had. And then we also thought of a few that we get most often to answer for you guys all together in one. Okay. So we're going to answer about five questions here on my channel, and then the other five are going to be on Darren's channel. So come check it out. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Question number one was, who inspired you to start a channel? Sure. Okay, I'll go. So I don't know if there was really any one person that inspired me to start Who did you start like, used to watch before yeah, who did you, you watch? Um, I watched Megan from Too Cool for Middle School mm -hmm. uh, when I first started, and then Michelle from Pocket Full Primary. And then for me, it was more just like, I wanted to document my first year of teaching and look back and reflect on my practice. For me, that was the biggest thing. And then honestly, my husband, he was the one that bought the camera and was like, now you have no excuse. <laughs> so that's kind of what happened for me. My husband as well. Um, he was like, you always talk about it and just do it. So he bought me a camera and that was it. <laughs> He's like, you don't have to do anything. Just <laughs> shoot. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll edit everything. Minimal work. Yeah. Uh -huh. And by the way, we're going to daily vlog. Uh -huh. <laughs> but wait, but I won't be on your channel. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, I started doing YouTube with like my princess stuff. Yeah. Ooh. And then I sort of dipped my toes into doing teaching. Like I, I watched Michelle and Megan um, because I thought about having kids. And so I looked up like teaching and pregnant. And then Megan came up and I watched her. And then when I met Jennifer, was when I really got into like teaching yeah. content, mm -hmm. and so she like is yeah. my biggest inspiration to start that. I kind of, I don't know, I kind of like fell into it. Um, the two like teacher tubers that I watched before actually starting a channel were Real Rap with Reynolds and Megan from Too Cool for Middle School, and I just kind of on a whim was like, I wonder if I could do this. So I took out my iPhone and I just like did it, mm -hmm. and then yeah, I don't know. I just decided to do it. and it's like a good reflection piece like yeah. Shelly was saying like it's so good for my teaching practice mm -hmm. so I didn't actually watch anyone I'm like the worst <laughs> at searching so I really like, was like oh let me see if, if there's any teachers on YouTube and like nothing came up because again I don't know how to search online <laughs> so I was like I'll do this and then as soon as I posted my first video I found everybody uh, <laughs> so oh <yeah. laughs> You guys know what breakout boxes are? No. Yes. Like an escape room. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. So the guy that created that, his name's James Sanders. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. He's like really big in the ed tech world. So like everybody knew James Sanders. So he was doing a keynote and he's like, I'm going to start daily vlogging like Casey Neistat. And he shows a clip from Casey Neistat. But this was like before anybody <laughs> was, there was no teachers on there. And so he starts doing that, and I'm like, that is so cool. I'm going to do it to reflect on my yeah. on my days as a teacher. So I started doing that, and that's how I Wait, does he do it? it? He didn't. He, he did like 190 days straight okay. and then stopped. Oh, and then created a breakout box. <laughs> Got and it. Then went in there. And then he did it. <laughs> and then sold a million. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm going to go this way. Yeah. So the second question is about how many hours do you spend or do we spend on YouTube Working on YouTube, yeah, per week. Do you want to start this one? I, yeah. I have a kind of a rare situation. I don't, <laughs> I don't own videos, so I don't spend nearly as much time as probably everyone else does. So mine <laughs> nice. is just going to be filming yeah. time and thumbnail time, which I don't know. Probably in total throughout the entire week is like, I don't know, I'd say like ten hours. Oh, dang, a lot. A lot. I need to step up my game. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was I like, that's our. No, I'm counting all my filming time. <laughs> Yeah, you count all your filming time. Okay. Maybe that's a little. That maybe that's a little much. Or maybe my videos like are really like professional. Twenty minutes. No, that's too much. <laughs> Should we call Skylar? <laughs> Actually, like, we need to vet this. Okay, I, like, I, like, long like, I was thinking like an hour per. But no, that's twenty. Do you post ten videos a week? <laughs> Okay, okay so I think I'm not going to count filming time because I feel like when I'm filming, I'm also working, so right. I'm not really like setting aside time to do it because I'm doing what I'm doing anyway. Um, 
but I think it takes me like maybe two hours to edit and like 15 minutes to do a thumbnail. So I just do it like at night when my husband's not home, baby's in sleep. I just plop on Netflix and edit for like two hours. Yeah. yeah, when I'm in like a good like rhythm and I'm actually posting a couple of times yeah. a week, I'll probably, I can edit a video in about an hour. Like I've got it down to a pretty good science where I can like feel for what I filmed and then I can edit it pretty quickly. And then yeah, the thumbnail and all that I just do while it uploads or like while it renders mm -hmm. and uploads. Um, so probably like two and a half hours total, if I'm doing two videos a week, I'll spend on like the editing and all that if we take filming out. And yeah. to however long the video is, like if it's like mm -hmm. a whole weekly vlog, like yeah. Shelly does a day, you mm -hmm. know, most of the time. I do like a whole week. It depends that takes on, like, a lot more time if you're, you're cause then you forget what you did on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. like Okay. Where was I? <laughs> I mean, honestly, it depends. Like, if I'm doing a vlog, I'm gonna spend a lot more time. Or if I'm doing like a set of series of videos, like let's say do three videos together that are all in the same theme, I'm gonna spend more time editing it. But um, I think you know, before when I had not great software, it, it took me a lot longer. So I would say I'm probably about five hours a week. That's yeah. what I shifted my time to, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm <laughs> yeah. I changed my mind. <laughs> the thing that takes me the longest is I'll be watching another YouTuber and I'm like, how do they do that? And I'm oh, like trying to figure out. Yeah, I, mean, I always yeah. text you for girl I have in the past. Yeah. Hey, how did you do your little subscription? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh. So other than that, it's like I think the process is about the same for all of us. Mm -hmm. And software makes such a huge difference. It does. You yeah. Know? It's um, a game changer. We're gonna get to that question in just <laughs> yeah, I think that one's coming out pretty soon. I was just. Uh, teasing you guys for that part. Uh -huh. Good <laughs> it's segue. coming, I promise. I think for me, I've finally gotten into a really good rhythm where I try and post twice a week, but I also really try and keep my videos between 10 and 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's so key. for me, yes. that limits my time. And the more you edit, the more you like get the little quick trick. So for me, editing takes like 30 minutes because I think about it when I vlog. I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, what can I do to optimize my time? Mm -hmm. AKA cut back on editing time. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I would say, between everything, maybe two, three, depending yeah. on the week. And that just comes with experience. Yeah, totally. in the yeah. beginning it was a lot. Yeah. Yeah. In the beginning mm -hmm. it was a lot. Yeah, when you first start, like you will take forever to yeah. edit a video. Mm -hmm. it just, it's just how it is. Because you'll learn. start with like five hours of footage and you've got to get it down to Plan two minutes. Plan two, we all rambled in the beginning, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wait, 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 wait. Now I we did. know what we want yeah. to say. Yeah. Now you have so 17 right. minutes still, of footage yeah. down to 15. Yeah, you get way better. Some of us still ramble. Mm. <laughs> all right. Okay. So the next question is, what type of camera do you use? I know I get this question all mm -hmm. the time. I used to use a Canon G7X. I think it looks like this. Up, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, up until like two weeks ago, and then I got the Sony Alpha 6500. This runs pretty pricey um, with the lens and the body. It was uh, about two thousand. Um, so definitely an expensive option. Mm -hmm. But it's an yeah. investment, right? Yeah. Because, I know. Yeah. Exactly. You're doing regularly. Yeah. 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 Um, and then I film on a Sony mirrorless, I think it's a 5,000 alpha something. Alpha. 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 Okay. Um, it's, mm -hmm. it's kind of like this one where it has like the flip up screen, which I think all of us can agree we like that. Yeah. yeah. Especially if what the heck we're filming. Absolutely. Um, and I think that cost me about 500, but it, I got it on Amazon. It came with like a bunch of accessories, yeah. like lenses. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, I'm getting a lot more for my money. So I think I invested about 500 into that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I use the I use this exact camera, the Canon G7X, right? And it was Ooh. I want to say 700 Fit. when I got it on Amazon. And it's perfect cuz it just yeah. you can like plop it in your purse. So like it's small. just it's small, it's light and it has really good quality and I like the quality of the audio actually too. Yeah. So that camera that you just saw is my camera, so that is the one that I use. <laughs> Um, I do have to say it does sometimes when you're listening to playback at all sometimes you can hear like a clicking sound um, mm. So that is something right. to I don't yeah. That screen. Yeah, oh then lucky you No, <laughs> if, um, if you mine will do that sometimes you can hear it. this I uh, like, No, because usually I hold it without the strap so I don't know so that's something to be like aware of when you're buying them like I would really look online at a bunch of options and see what meets your budget and then also see like how invested you're in it because if you're not that invested you shouldn't spend that much money on it yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 
She's like, we try not to ramble. I use an iPhone. Sorry, Sorry. my iPhone Rambler. To shoot almost everything. I have a, I like, I was a wedding photographer, so I had a million lenses, but they were all Nikon. And then, so I tried to shoot with a Nikon, but the Nikon is not the way to go with uh, video. So I switched over to a Canon 70D, and that's what I use when I'm, like when you see me in my classroom. So I have that set up all the time. But it's really hard to walk around with, unless you're Peter McKinnon, walk around with a yeah. big giant SLR. So I just use my little iPhone to shoot all, most of my B-roll, and then anytime I'm walking around, I don't want to carry another camera, so I just have my phone and I whip out my phone. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. I also use the Canon G7X Mark II, I think it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, yes. And the only thing I'll say is, if you are considering vlogging, I highly recommend getting a little like tripod stand. Mm -hmm. Because oh, like, as you know, if you follow me, I often used to cover the mic with my like finger yeah. and then it screws up your entire video. Yeah. Yeah. Hence the hours of editing yeah. prior to getting yeah. used to things. Yeah, something like this. Mine's not even this big, but it just makes it easier. So yeah. Plus you get a little bit further away and it's a little more steady yeah. too. It's yeah. stabler, exactly. Mm -hmm. Do stabler. we want to pass these around? More stable. Like, do you guys want to ask questions? Sure. Yeah, I'll do the next one. Okay, so How many are I can still hold it. Okay. Maybe we just have two more. Oh. Question four. Um, what type of editing software do you use for your videos and your thumbnails? So I'll just start. Good. Um, I use iMovie just because I have a Mac computer. Um, I've used that for the last like nine years that I've been on YouTube. Oh crap. Oh, Holy mackerel. Um, yeah, because I did princess oh. videos and oh, stuff with my company long before. For thumbnails, I use PicMonkey. Mm -hmm. I just pay the $10 mm -hmm. a month and I use that to edit like everything because you can make yeah even like posters and stuff I mm -hmm. yeah yeah for like stuff in the classroom I, I was just gonna say I use PicMonkey um, I use I use iMovie as well but I use a combo of PicMonkey and Canva yes. the free version of Canva the paid version of PicMonkey mm -hmm. just like 10 bucks yeah. yeah um and I use those also for like I just think I like the different like functionalities for like different layers yeah. and things mm -hmm. in Canva um but I also use them for like uh, graphic organizers and like note sheets pictures. and that sort of thing in my classroom yes <laughs> and yeah so so I used to use Filmora, and it was not expensive at all to get, but then when I got my new Mac computer, I switched over to Final Cut Pro, and it is a game changer. It goes so fast now. Like my editing, it's cut down my editing tremendously. And I just really like it. It's very intuitive, it's pretty smart, and then, you know, if I need any help, I can always ask Darren. <laughs> But for You're editing, not the only one. <laughs> so many yeah. people like we constantly. We all yeah. go to Darren. <laughs> YouTube it. If you don't know how to use one of your software systems or editing software, yeah. you, YouTube it. Yeah. There's a video of someone showing you how to do something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I really like PicMonkey as well because Canva sometimes if you have the free one, like it's set and you can't adjust like the size of your image. It, yeah. So you do it in PicMonkey first and then you can go to Canva if you like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So like I was saying, I used to be a wedding photographer, so I had um, the subscription to Adobe, and in Adobe oh, you yeah. get, I used to use Lightroom, so you get Premiere with that, and you get Photoshop with that. So I use Photoshop for my thumbnails, and Premiere sometimes, but I'm, I use a Mac. I love all the Mac mm -hmm. universe, and so I use Final Cut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm also a Mac girl. Not that you're a girl, but I'm also a Mac mm -hmm. person. <laughs> Um, I use iMovie because that's always what I've used for any video stuff. It's super user friendly. Mm -hmm. And I'm a PowerPoint person. I'm really savvy in PowerPoint, so all my thumbnails I do PowerPoint. You can edit pictures on there, so that's what I find the easiest for me. That's and it's smart. free. That's mm -hmm. good. And then, like, aspect ratio is right for a thumbnail yeah, exactly. and a slide. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I never thought of that. That's yeah. And if not, smart. again, you just Google you just, it, YouTube it, and, and then you, you fix the slides. Or, yeah, you just change the slides. I used to do PowerPoint and then put it on Canva. Uh -huh. But it was just, I just cut that step off. Yeah, like, yeah. why bother? You don't need yeah. to, yeah. yeah. And Skylar uses, I also have Adobe. <laughs> <laughs> I also have the Adobe Creative uh, Studio or whatever it's called. Uh -huh. um, so Skylar uses Adobe Premiere, and then I use Photoshop for the uh, thumbnails. Do you ever find when he edits your videos, it's not to your liking? Yeah, have you ever That's been like, oh, no, I the think, shade. I think yeah. I film. Or like, ooh, you should have cut that out. <laughs> no, because I think I film knowing that. 
Okay. Um, so I have it always like you in my mind like when I'm filming, I know do. that I'm not editing. So if there's something that like I didn't want in there, I'd probably just like refilm the clip if it were oh. like, or I'd like do a huge pause. And if he sees like a big pause, he knows to like. Do you watch it before he uploads it? Mm -mm. You are wow. trusting. Wow. That's a great, no. good team. Yeah, like, I yeah. used to, but I just kind of I don't know. I trust well, you probably got the hang of it. Yeah. 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 And her videos are good, so he's doing the right thing. Yeah. 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 He enjoys that kind of stuff. I'm like. Alright, who's next? Alright, what's next? Let's you do... Oh, here, I gotta put my phone down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Question five? Okay, so question five. This is gonna be our last question on this video, and for the rest of them, you're gonna head over to Darren's channel, but question five is, how did you come up with your channel name? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, like this it. is the hardest part about starting a YouTube <laughs> channel. Absolutely. Except that, um, oh, mine was super easy. I just know that I really like coffee and that it was gonna be a teaching channel and I was like, the coffee classroom, well that sounds stupid. The caffeinated classroom, done. <laughs> like that was, I literally was like, oh. Kate's okay. was probably really easy too. Yeah. Mine was, <laughs> mine was so easy. Yeah. Okay, so I love a good nap, all right? I just, I enjoy Wait, napping. Wait, can we talk about, this is not a nap, can we though. define no. nap real quickly? Can anybody? What do you guys consider a comment nap? Comment down below what you think a nap is. As in the amount of long? time that yeah, yeah. like Because watch this. Kate. Okay. Kate. Yeah. How long are your naps? Like three to four hours. <laughs> That's my Not sleep. Enough. That's a night of sleep. That's, That's a night night. Jesus. Listen. Teaching is tiring. <laughs> I have to regenerate. But then how long do you sleep at night? Uh, you know, it depends. Three to four hours. And three to four hours. And the sleepy teacher so Nine to ten hours. Hour. Life yes. is just a series of naps. Mm -hmm. It really is. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, sleepy teacher was easy, easy for me. Yeah, yeah. Ed tech. I was um a Tosa, an ed tech Tosa. So oh, at the that time, makes so much sense. yeah, that yeah. I that I was Wait, creating. Wait, what's a Tosa? Teacher, teacher on, on special, special assignments. Yeah. Oh. So I used to go around oh. all teacher the teacher on special um, assignment. Thank you. <laughs> Wait. Wait. What? <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. All the fourth, fifth, and sixth grade classes in my district, I had to go visit all the classrooms and help them integrate mm -hmm. technology into their okay. curriculum. So. During that time, that's when my channel was born, and so that's what it was. I love it. Um, so unfortunately, the teacher social media world, it's kind of a saturated market, or becoming a saturated yeah. market, and I knew I wanted a name, this is, I'm going into my third year, so I knew I wanted a name that wasn't grade specific, because I'll probably shift, or name specific, because I was getting married, but I wasn't married, at the you know? And so, um, I don't know, I'm not kidding, I was in the shower one day, and just thinking about this for weeks, and thus early adventures was born. There's no really exciting story behind it at all. Did like the clouds part? And yeah. <laughs> and you were in like, the shower? The shower oh, part. I was yeah. just like doing work plans. Like, okay, I'll always be in early, like K, somewhere in the K6 world. Yeah. So I was thinking early and then Ed. Ed. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't know. Your real first name is Early, so yes. that makes sense. I get all and of my mail. Yeah. <laughs> I had a mailman come to my door and go, are you early? He's like, yes, that's I, I, am. I, am. I had a postmates come to me and he's like, sleepy? I was like, yep, that's uh, me. That's me. Um, I'm one of the seven dwarfs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. my name, I had no intention of like my social media growing like as much as it did when I originally did my second grade life like it was just summertime I had discovered the Instagram world of teaching and I was obsessed and I just wanted to kind of get on there and I was getting ready to teach second grade and that's kind of where it came from and then it, unfortunately I should have probably changed it before I started even more but now I'm kind of stuck and I've considered changing it out of second grade even though I'm still in second grade but I, just but I think I, 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 nothing has come to me. But even if you are like my fourth grade life or my fifth, I think people that's like they understand you as the my blank yeah. life. Like even that's if you true. had to change it, mm -hmm. they would still. Yeah. I thought about just rebranding just to like my name, but it scares me. I don't know why. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I feel like I would lose, or people wouldn't realize it's like a teaching related thing, and then yeah. Like, yeah. So it's kind of messy, but. But I you feel like go once you that's a second grade life, and then just to oh, your yeah. name. But I feel like once you create a brand, no matter whether it's grade specific or not, yeah, that's what people know you as, and that's yeah, just, just go with that right? brand. Yeah. So, yeah. Because people do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So. Cool. That's fine. Um. <laughs> well, I started doing princess videos and I was also studying to be a teacher so apples for teaching tiaras for princess parties oh my god I just now put that together <laughs> like I don't think I'm a princess like I'm not that conceited I just oh my god. god I was thinking about that I was like, like sparkly thing what is no, wrong with me I'm actually like sparkly 
extrapolate things uh, too much, but really, <gasps> just a little bit. Not. I like love that she's a princess. I know, sense. but like, wow, <laughs> that's really funny. That's and what was your princess name on YouTube? Um, I think my because I had like my child's dream entertainment page mm -hmm. was my my original channel was a child's dream entertainment and i did like oh. princess mm -hmm. videos like here's how to do princess makeup for elsa here's how to do like oh this is what i bring with me on a party and i would vlog like kind of like i vlog now as a teacher but as a princess that's like cool. changing awesome. in the car yeah, and like cool. should you keep crazy either? crap my kids would say to me and like oh ariel how do you pee <laughs> well i don't <laughs> I don't Wait, finish. is it the same channel now? You just changed the name? No, I added a new one? channel. So I oh. still have that A Child's Dream Entertainment channel, which has like all my like cast members and stuff yeah. on it. And like video footage of <gasps> like and subscribe characters. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't have to. Do that. All right. Uh, so, yeah. All right, you guys, so thank you so much for watching this video and for joining us. Uh, we are going to be doing part two on Darren's channel, uh, Darren Nakakihara. So head on over to that channel. It will be linked down below as well as all of these wonderful people's channels will be linked down below as well. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.